Greetings to my team of 144, all star seeds, love workers, and way showers. It is 11222019, November 22nd, 2019. Happy Golden Gate Portal Day. The 2211, 1122 is the 1111 and the 222 energies coming in today from the angelic realms, from our higher self. Many energies coming in today, many manifestations. The Schumann resonance was at 25 hertz today. More patterns in the charts. We have a lot of rising up of energies. Massive fireball seen over Oregon and Polk County, potentially from this meteor shower that was coming in. Also more uprisings around the world. People rising up against the corruption, against the cabal the dark energies there is a major mo major protests in baghdad the capital of iraq more uprisings in iran it's reported over 100 cities people rising up also reported today from rt.com over one of the largest protests um, to over 200,000 citizens of bogota and the capital of colombia so we have the capital of Colombia and the capital of Iraq and Baghdad, plus, of course, all, all these other uprisings in Hong Kong, Chile, Haiti, and on and on. These are just going to keep building up. And supposedly the mainstream media, from what I hear, has not been reporting on these things. Though The controllers of the narrative of the matrix do not want the collective to know that people are waking up, people are rising up, and people are fed up. So with these golden gate energies coming in, this golden portal, as these energies rise up, these frequencies, also our prayers and love and healing to our brothers and sisters of the light in Australia. It was reported there's hundreds of wildfires there and in every state. There's massive fires of the country. And as these burning up energies, the, f the fires and the waters are rising with the floodings going around. So also the energies of the divine masculine, the divine feminine, the eagle is flying with the condor. And that is the twin flame energies in the heart center coming together. The divine feminine, the divine masculine, the divine masculine fire of the north merging with the divine feminine of the condor of the south, the sacred south. As all these prophecies are being fulfilled, being revealed, this time of revelation of all those things hidden being revealed. And if you're new to this channel, just know, beloved being of light, that no, you are not going crazy. I always like to tell people, we're not going crazy. We were crazy to come here. That's what the Cheshire Cat would tell Alice. You have to become, you have to be crazy to come to this upside down world, this mad, mad world. And it's half jokingly, the 44 energies coming in, the 444, the 144. These are coming through consistently daily now as we're rising up, as we're waking up from the false into the true, the true light, the true love, the true source, and the divine matrix being revealed that was veiled or hidden with the false matrix, the false duality, the false system of separation and suffering, which we are waking up from. So know if you feel alone out there in this realm, in this upside down world, wherever you're anchoring your codes, you're anchoring your highest light into the grid, into Gaia, into the field for this purpose, for this mission, for the lifting up, the ascension, the rising up of consciousness through this quantum shift, what is being called the Great Awakening, the Golden Age, New Earth, New Eden, the Great Awakening. As you all know, if you come to this channel, Angelic Beings 144 coming through again, the shift is happening. We are the event. We are here to rise up. We are here to wake up. And remember our true self, our pure awareness, our pure love, our pure light to manifest our true desires from our heart center in that unity consciousness. This unity consciousness here now as the ego flies with the sacred condor. The divine is soaring high now with the sacred, with the blessed. And we shall inherit the earth angels of light. Today's first transmission from Celia Fenn. 
as we move towards Ophiuchus, Sagittarius, we have been diving deep with the Scorpio energies. This has been an intense time of very deep level healing and clearing both individually and collectively. The Maya taught us that the earth is millions of years old and that the project Human Angel has been ongoing for at least 200,000 years. But 12,000 years ago, there was a cataclysmic event that destroyed most life on earth, an extinction event. As a collective, we struggled to survive and lost our way, becoming vulnerable to life forms that tried to persuade us that we were just genetic experiments and that they were our gods and creators. No, not ever. We are divinely created according to the long plan for the earth to be a sacred star temple for the galaxy. We are returning to the divine plan as we wake up and remember that we are star beings with a galactic heritage. We are not barbaric savages recently civilized, but ancient beings finding our way back and healing layers of trauma and deception and manipulation. We are powerful co-creators of our own reality, making our way home to who we are, our true self. So while it might be chaotic out there with all those unawakening souls still playing out their shadow and their trauma, we can wake up and know what is happening. The trauma is over. We are healing and integrating as we approach this part of the divine plan, New Earth, where we create our future as co-creators with spirit and freedom and love. This 2020 cycle is beginning of creation 201 from the inside out. Only those who are connected to the divine light within their sacred heart will be playing in the light fields of creation and the field of love. It is an exciting journey forward, everyone. Get ready for the upcoming 1212 portal and the December solstice 1221. See you there. Yes, we will be, we will all be there. Sis stars and bro stars of the light. We are here on mission. We're fully active, fully awake, fully aware. Pure awareness coming in, activating the 12 strand crystalline DNA, the 5D crystalline DNA, the 144 code being activated, rainbow body activated. And from Pars Kute, a new fleet of massive light ships have been witnessed through solar telescopes recently, which were performing advanced energy procedures around Earth's sun. The frequency of the sun's corona is being slightly raised over time, and this energy is being beamed towards Earth via via artificially opened consecutive corona holes. These light beams are ionized photon gamma light that activates and enhances the DNA of any living species to a higher order instantaneously. As we integrate our new energy frequency for this new fifth dimension, we start to move closer to the one source. We are God source energy. This is our awakening, fully awakening to who and what we truly are. We're opening, opening the crystalline seals into avatar consciousness. And that avatar consciousness is the pure awareness, beyond duality, beyond separation, beyond conflict, beyond the void, beyond the emptiness, beyond emptiness and form, all the way through and through and through the great mirror, the still point, the zero point, the singularity of our self, of our awareness, as we return fully conscious to the ocean of consciousness, the collective consciousness, unity consciousness, goes by many names, but we feel it now, we don't think our way to source, we feel our way and allow that energy, that magnetic pull, that magnetic potential, that cre infinite creative light, creative life, drawing us in, calling us in, you can hear the call, the call of the dragons, the call of the tiger, what might some may call light language. We follow that sound back to source, back to the silence, back to the stillness, and then through the stillness, through the silence, all the way through until you totally break through. We step through the gate, through the portal of the mind, of the self, of the I am presence to fully merge, fully remember, fully rebirth through that unconscious merging heaven and earth, the conscious with the unconscious, and the unconscious with the conscious mind. 37 into the 73, the 73 into the 37. Kingdom of heaven is here now. Manifest it, attract it, see it, feel it, hear it. I am here now, in this body, where I always am. 
the body of this universe, our universe, the one verse, the one chorus, the symphony of life, feel it now in every atom, every cell, every electron, lighting up, rising up. From the Zolkin Times, the Red Electric Skywalker, electric is the name for the number three and its keywords are activate, service, and bond. This is the third day of the blue monkey wave spell. Certainly monkey can be tricky, especially the first few days as we are positioning right in the middle of the two portal day columns. This is a powerful but intense time and it won't let up until we get to red spectral dragon in eight days time. However, electric is always a fun number regardless of which wave spell it occurs. So much energy comes in very handy if you make use of it. Today is Red Skywalker, which represents space, wakefulness, and explore. The Skywalker loves to go on adventures, and this curiosity is quite catching. Follow the Pied Piper today. Or go on a magical mystery tour. As it is an electric day, today is perfect for activating an adventure and also expanding your mind. Think outside the box today and be a little daring. It doesn't hurt sometimes to surprise yourself. From Christina Papagiorgio, Red Electric Skywalker, KIN 133-133, 22-November-2019, 22-11-2019, equal 22-11-12. Equaling 4, 2, 3, equal 9, 22, Master Builder, Architect of Peace, 22, 11, the Golden Gate, the Peace Portal, the Rainbow Bridge, 4, Angelic Frequency, Foundation, Earth, 9, Destiny, Service, Compassion, Humanity, Kin 133, equal 7, 3, the Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity, Union, 7, Mystic, Magic, Spiritual, Solitude, a very potent, Expansive day, full throttle, maximum acceleration. Day three in the blue monkey wave spell of magic, joy, bliss, play, merriment, and return to innocence. Today we activate the joy and bliss best expressed through exploring the magic that lies dormant within us and around us. Using the electric tone to ignite the spark to create more magic, joy, and bliss in our lives. Tone of creation. Today's tone is electric. This is pure creative genius energy, Tesla power. The electric tone coupled with the Skywalker, Blue Monkey, and Magic 7 and 11 portal codes today adds up to another electrically charged rocket fuel day. Electric is tone number three in the tone of creation. It is the first of the three emotional realm tones. Its focus is on being of service to others through the action of bonding that is coming together with others to co-create and be of service. This desire is amplified today through the nine divine destiny code. Electric energy provides the ignition or spark for your manifestation. It is a current that needs to keep moving and flowing, transmitting energy. It also adds power to anything you are creating today. An extra electrical boost to draw upon, the power of three is derived from two units merging and creating the third, more powerful entity. This action duplicates the essence of bonding and service that the electric tone provides. Today we bond together through the power of magic to ignite joy and bliss, lifting the vibe of our planet. Note, electric energy is very volatile and combustible which can lead to short-fused interactions today, particularly with the cheeky monkey energies, especially as it is an emotional realm tone, so be aware that people can be more easily triggered on these days. Remember to direct this energy into creative and inventive projects so you can fully utilize the power available to light up your life. Go forth and build the magic so that it may grow and expand and continually grant all your wishes. Today's questions are how can I activate more magic, joy, and bliss as I explore greater potentials for my creative expression through divine service? How can I build a new foundation for peace, joy, and abundance for new earth? Planetary Service 2211 Golden Gate Portal A great day to visualize the double golden gates of Source opening wide and sending forth massively expansive golden rainbow codes flooding onto our planet and over all the tribes of our planetary kin bonding in divine service to Nova Gaia. An absolutely brilliant day to swim Meditate with the dolphins and unicorns to activate your bliss genes. Divine blessings for the most expansive, bliss-filled day. Kin 133, 
Red Electric Skywalker. The mantra for the day, the code is, I activate in order to explore. Bonding wakefulness. I seal the output of space with the electric tone of service. I am guided by the power of navigation. Thank you for joining me today, beloved being of light. Let us know in the comments below what you're seeing, what you're feeling, what you're experiencing, your visions, what you see for new earth, your intent for all humanity. Let us know. Every comment left assists and helps all light workers, love workers in this realm. They feel the connection, they see the synchronicities, and they feel the unity energy coming in with this small community that we're creating here. Be sure to subscribe to the channel below. Click subscribe and the bell next to subscribe to get notifications on our future updates. And I'd also like to thank everyone on this mission for the Healing Retreat Center and Sustainable Community in Ecuador, South America. We're in the research and development phase, the beginning stages, as we raise funds for this great mission as a blueprint for healing centers and sustainable communities we call the Rainbow Tribes. Around this realm, the vision is in Ecuador, South America, and the foothills of the sacred Andes Mountains. You can learn more about this on primedisclosure.com. Click on Dao de Ecuador at the top of the page to learn more about this great mission ahead. So, angel of light, keep walking your path with heart. Be sure to be clear and precise and cohesive in what your intent is for this new earth, for this manifestation from the heart center, your heart's desires, your heart's delights. The key to the source of manifestation is your pure intent. What your intent for humanity, for life itself, what you want to see, what you want to experience, what you want to manifest into this infinite field of light, of resonance, of frequency, into the field of consciousness. So keep walking your path with heart. Beloved being of light, keep shining your light brightly into the night. Have a beautiful and blessed day. I love you all. Namaste.